What we got? I'm gonna let you guys. I'm gonna let you guys get a head start. You get a head start. Let's see. Would I? Would I get Ultra Moon and Ultra Ultra Sun Ultra Moon? I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I don't. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing with Pokemon, and like people kind of saw this when it came to Gen from Gen One to Gen Two. To keep Pokemon, to keep making new generations, honestly, they have to keep innovating. They have to keep innovating. And they did that from Gen 1 to Gen 2 with genders. So males are typically the stronger. They realized they have to keep innovating, so they added more numbers, and then they changed how that works. But they added things like abilities in Gen 4. I'm sorry, Gen 3. They added more moves in Gen 4. Gen 5... Or is it they added more moves again and they gave the ability to have hidden hidden gender I'm sorry, hidden abilities. I think that was Gen 5. Then Gen 6, they introduced the fairy type. Like they have to keep innovating. There's hold items that came in in Gen 3. Uh, so they have to keep innovating. Um they've gotten pretty much to the point oh, and then mega evolutions in Gen 6. They've gotten to the point where they have to kind of break what Pokemon is in order to innovate. Because in Gen 7, they had, um, they added Z moves, which count as a fifth move in your battle, I believe. I could be, I could be entirely wrong. But that kind of breaks it. Mega Evolutions kind of breaks it. It makes something that's already pretty strong, stronger. Um, so they, they have to keep innovating. And by doing, by doing that, they kind of have to break what Pokemon is. And that, for me, is kind of a turn off. Not because what I already know has to change, but because it 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 makes it entirely almost an entirely new game. You you feel me? You feel what I'm saying? It's kinda it's kinda weird. And that's that's really not that's really not entertaining to me. It's not enough to put me off. Like I don't hate the rest of the games. I just haven't played Gen 7. I haven't felt like it's necessary for me to play. Alright, let's get to this puzzle. Let's get to this puzzle. Let's see, Game Bros. Official. Game Bros. Official says, bring a real mainline Pokemon game to the Switch or the next Nintendo console. The move to the Switch is like the last frontier for Pokemon at this point, yo. The only thing that I don't like about the idea of moving a mainline Pokemon game to the Switch is that the Switch is kind of a handhold, handheld device. Um, you could take the, the controllers, put on the side of the Switch, and you could take that thing on the go. Now, doing that means Nintendo doesn't really need the 3DS anymore, which means that they, they'll eventually stop funding. I'm sorry, I'm, I shouldn't say funding. Developing games for the 3DS because you have this portable, this portable device that is our, our main thing. The worst thing you can do as a business move, as a financial move, is to have competition with yourself. The second they decide that they want to do something like put po a Pokemon main game, like a main series game, a main entry, two, two separate games on the Nintendo Switch is the second that they go into competition with themselves if they don't decide to discontinue the 3DS. It's not a bad idea. Games will look amazing on that. It's just you don't want competition with yourself. That's the only thing that I don't, I don't, find, in, I don't find good about that. And then, of course, you're going to need a way to get... Your Pokemon from Gen 7 onto whatever game ends up on uh, the Switch. It's, it sounds, sounds like a great idea in theory, but financially or, or for, from a business side, it doesn't sound too smart. And it sounds too safe, I should say. Not, not that it's a dumb idea, but it doesn't sound safe. Pokemon main series game on Switch would be great. It would be great. What I want to see, and I know this won't happen either, is a, 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 a game like... Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Revolution, Battle Revolution, I should say, on the Switch. I know that won't happen for sure because the whole appeal of that was that you could see them in 3D and now you can see them in 3D on uh on the 3DS already. So I know I know like a uh a, a Battle Stadium type thing for you to connect your DS or sorry, your 3DS to and have them find the big screen. I know that won't happen. The only way I can see like a, a battle stadium type game working is if they actually deal the damage to each other. Because, uh, what is it? X and Y, they come close. 
Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, they come close. Sun and Moon, they come close to them actually dealing the damage to each other. Them running over and actually hitting, the hit connecting, and then them taking damage. There's some that you can see very clearly, it didn't connect. Like when it's something that's really big, fighting something really small, you can very clearly see that the move didn't connect. But I would love to see that. Like that's the only way I can see them putting out something like a battle stadium game. Level 2 is done. Let's see, Sheepish says, here's my take on Gen 7. Gen 6, I walked, watched all the trailers, read all the articles, saw the starters, followed it all up until release day, and when the game came out, I hated it. There was no surprise left. Uh. <laughs> Gen 7, for me, Gen 7, with, with each new thing they released, I slowly started to not like the idea of a new generation coming out. When they said new, new game, Sun and Moon, I was like, yo. That's dope. They're ready for Gen. They, they're going to skip Z. Don't know why, but they're skipping Z. They're going right to Sun and Moon. Cool. And then literally from every everything that was released, I was like, you know, this doesn't sound cool. Z moves, that doesn't sound fun. Uh, Alola forms? All right. Cool. Then they showed Geodude in his line. And I was like, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Uh, what else? What else was, did they announce in Gen Seven? What else was announced? I don't remember most of the. Oh, no gym leaders. As soon as they said no gym leaders, I was like, okay, this game's not for me. This game's not for me. Because you guys know how much I love doing. Uh, you guys know how much I love doing. Uh, Nuzlocks. The idea of not having gym leaders. Gym leaders serve as a checkpoint for me, for like how how well I'm doing in the game. So the fact they said no gym leaders, I was like, eh, I don't think I don't think this was for me. Um, I understand they have the the totem leaders and the the tapu cocos and whatever, whatever they're called. <laughs> I understand they have that, but that's not for me. It's clearly not for me, and I understand I'm not the target audience. It was honestly harder. I turned off ex- experience share, and that was a mistake. I needed to grind. Yeah, for for as. I don't know about Gen 7, but for Gen 6, the game is so much harder without gen, without the experience share. Uh, maybe that's the same for... Actually, what my friend said, yeah, that is the very same case for Gen 7. She played... Uh, I believe she played Sun. She said Sun was the worst game she has ever played in her life. I believe her. I believe her. She said she didn't enjoy Sun. It made it too easy. And then the trailer that just came out, or whatever just came out, she said, yeah... I'm probably not. I'm probably not gonna get this one. It's too soon. All right, let's get to this puzzle. We're we're doing puzzles. <laughs> 